Hi, my name's Graham Field, and this is the first, and <laughs> maybe the last, of what I'm going to call a book review with a buzz. Uh, but before I review today's book, I'm going to talk a little bit about, well, firstly, why I think I'm eligible to do reviews, and reviews in general. Uh, we're all asked to do reviews now. Whatever we do, if we buy something on Amazon, if we stay somewhere, Airbnb, or... Um, book something on TripAdvisor, whatever we do, we're asked to do a review. God, you can't even go to the co-op sometimes and it says, how did you enjoy your trip to the co-op? And you have to explain it. So we can all <laughs> explain our experience, describe our experience for the benefit of others, or we can write complete bollocks and misguide other people. It's uh, our decision. Uh, so we all, we all do our reviews, but I do think they're important. Um, my biggest experience reviews, being an author is on books. One of my guilty pleasures is to read one star reviews. When I got my first ever one star review, it fucking hurt. It really did. Because it wasn't even about the product. It was about me and it was nasty. And uh, my skin wasn't very thick then, it still isn't. Um, but uh, it was, uh, since then, I've sort of come to really enjoy reading one star reviews because I think they say more about the person doing the review than they do about the product that's being reviewed. So whatever I'm looking at now, it doesn't matter whether it's CCTV camera or another book or, or, or anything, I, I like to read the one star reviews because you can tell a lot from them. Um, when, when, when my very first book was first published, the, uh, the publisher said to me, now, whatever you do, don't get your friends to get on Amazon and write five star reviews because they have no credibility. Well, I think they do to a degree because if uh, I do it myself, if I absolutely love something, I might not necessarily have the time to write an eloquent description of what it is, but I just like, yeah, five stars. I loved it. It was great. And so I think they're a little bit more uh, genuine uh, than, 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 than perhaps the one star review because Velvet Star Reviews have this venomous hatred about them for somebody to sit down and go through every aspect of, of what it is they despised and why they despised it. <laughs> and I'd love to be able to retort to some of the nasty reviews I've got, but you can't really do that. You don't even want to give the right the benefit of the, of the fact that you've, uh, you've, you've read the shit that they've written about you. And I must say, since I've done that, I'm far more, uh, I pull my punches a little bit because it's very easy when you're faceless, when you've got some pseudonym and your face um, isn't in your little, uh, your little icon profile, what's it thing called, whatever it's called, I'll think of it later. But anyway, you haven't necessarily, you wouldn't say to that person's face the things you might say in a, re in a review. So um, since then, I've I've, like I say, pull me punches a little bit. So rather than just giving something one star, I actually use some constructive criticism. I, I always have an audio book on the go and listen to hundreds of them, I equally read an awful lot of books. But, and, and some very renowned authors, actors, autobiographies are my, are my favorite uh, type of reading. And, uh, and, and rather than just one star bollocks and say, well, you know, three stars. I really thought they could have improved on that. So now um, knowing that these people have been brave enough to produce a product and put it out there for public, uh, <laughs> for, for the public to consume, uh, that I, I think you have to allow a little bit of consideration for that and, and, and just a, a few allowances for that. And so, I mean, it's very easy, for example, on YouTube video, like you're watching this one, to just go like this, fucking shit. Well, that's because I haven't got to the point yet. So just reserve judgment, all right? So, to the point, book review with a buzz. This is what I thought, right? We all love to chat, well, mostly love to chat about what we've read or, or what we've experienced. And uh, again, being a, an author of three books, all about motorcycle travel, that's what I'm going to talk about. Now, again, going to have to pull my punches a little bit because all the authors that I'm going to review, I, I've, I've come across. This isn't in a bragging, oh, yes, I hang out with authors, don't you know? This is, it's just a fact. I mean, most of them are independently published. Therefore, at various bike shows and gatherings, we've come across, past each other's, 
crossed each other's paths. You see, that's why it's called book review with a buzz. You see, don't expect perfection, expect honesty. So, um, and and the odd mistake. So we do, uh, our paths do cross. And uh, and therefore, I know these people uh, through Facebook, through shows, socially. And again, I have to respect their journeys, I have to respect what they did and can't just say, look, they're shit. They can't write. They're full of lies. Their journeys are fantasy. Although there are some books which I may say that about in the future. Equally in the future, I'll talk about the ones which just I've read time and time again and are so inspiring and so moving. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to go over, say, middle of the road. Uh, but simply the last one I read, and it's by a girl called Antonio Bolingbroke Kent. Now, Antonia Bolingbroke Kent, in fact. Now, I always feel a little sigh when I say her name because it takes so long to say her name. And it's a little bit of life that's gone and I'm never going to get back. Uh, on her Facebook page, she calls herself Ants BK, which is really snappy. But Antonia Bolingbroke Kent just <sighs> takes a long time to say lovely person that she is. I do know her and um, uh, and I respect her. And I'm going to talk about one of her, I think she's got three books, and it's called A Short Ride in the Jungle. This is the US version of the publication and it's published by Road Dog Publications. And this is the European version and it's published by Summersdale. Uh, they're both the same apart from the pictures and the covers and <laughs> The words seem to be mostly, well, I've read them both. I assume the words are both the same. What it's about, and I think this is really good, actually. She, uh, it's not her first bike trip by any means, not her first uh, overland trip by any means. She organised for a little pink Honda Cub to be available for her when she arrived in Vietnam. And what she did was took a ride across what is called the Ho Chi Mai Trail. This was the trail where um, the Northern Vietnamese were supplied during the Vietnam War, which the Viennese call the American War, uh, with arms and, and, uh, and supplies. And it went through uh, Laos and Cambodia. And this was the trail she was going to take. Now, a short ride in the jungle, the reason it's called that, and I'm trying not going to be a spoiler with these reviews, is because quite a daunting trip, especially on your own on a little bike. Uh, rather than thinking what she was going to do, she told herself, I'm just going for a short ride in the jungle. And hence the name of the book. One of the um, chapters towards the end of the book, when she gets to Saigon, is called A Saigon Conclusion, which I thought was a brilliant name for a chapter. And apparently that's what the book was going to be called. But the publishers uh, didn't want that. Hence, short ride in the jungle. Uh, so she gets this little pink moped and heads off. Now, Again, quite well researched. I think she's quite well connected girl. And uh, she arranged to meet ex-Vietnam vets, Americans who worked in the war, uh, other people who were involved in at that time. She goes through little villages and they talk about the, 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 the process of moving supplies through there. And uh, now I've read several motorcycle travel books where the rider has been mechanically inept. I find myself screaming at the page, check the da 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 da, depending on what the, the symptom of the bike is. I wouldn't call myself you know, a good mechanic, but they, they just, some people have, just have, don't have mechanical sympathy. They don't really understand what's going wrong. And consequently, the, the problems, be, mechanical problems, become much bigger than they possibly needed to be. Because perhaps if they'd have been foreseen a little earlier in the journey, these uh, these faults could have been corrected before a new engine was needed. And I think there were several new engines needed in the course of this journey that she took. Uh, so very beautifully written, very descriptive and above all, very informative um, about the Vietnam War, about what the Americans did, about how the Vietnam uh, Vietnamese uh, uh, counteracted it and uh, I learned an awful lot it was very interesting as well to see the views of ex-Vietnam vets who now visited had friends family chose to relocate to Vietnam and what their views were so you definitely come away from this book uh, I came away from it much more informed about the Vietnam War I'd been to Vietnam before a couple of times but not uh, like she had um, the, the way she writes is, is very, definitely a page turn, a bit of a cliche that, but it is. Uh, got through it very quickly. And I think you will come away knowing more about the country, more about Southeast Asia, more about the Vietnam War. 
probably a little bit more about Honda Cubs and what goes wrong with them and certainly about Antonia what an incredible brave soul she is what a good storyteller she is so this is my first book review with a buzz and there's only a couple of things that I screwed up I thought I still can't that word that I wanted to uh, to have what's that little picture that you have next to your profile probably shouldn't have gone back there still hasn't come back that'll come as soon as I press pause so anyway short ride in the jungle by Antonia Bolingbroke Kent is my first book on my first ever book review with a buzz thanks for watching avatar that was the word I wanted avatar sorry you had to pause it there there was oh shit fuck it fuck it fuck it